Hi everybody, Bob Gall here, attorney at the subrogation law firm Gall & Associates. Last week, I gave you a sort of an overview, three questions to answer on any subrogation claim. This week, I'm going to talk about a specific fire hazard. The topic for today is daisy chaining. We got Colin signed with the daisy chain. That's my nine-year-old. I asked Colin what he thought that meant, and here's what he drew for me. It's a nice chain with a little daisy on the end of it. That's not what it means. What does it mean? Assistant, can I please have my cords? Daisy chaining is the use, okay, thanks, thank you, <laughs> of multiple extension cords, one after the other, after the other, to power an appliance, computer, printer, refrigerator. Um, we thought it would be a great topic today, given that millions of Americans have been forced out of their office and into their homes with their kids forced out of school, everybody's looking for a wall receptacle and probably using multiple extension cords, power taps to power those appliances. Why is this a problem? Um, those connections, the more connections you have, the more likely they're to be pulled upon and made loose. A loose electrical connection can be a problem. Over time, that connection can heat up and ultimately cause a fire. Um, another problem, this is things that we have seen over the years. Sometimes we have seen people try to plug a three pronged plug into a two slotted receptacle. This is a problem. Sometimes they'll force it in. Sometimes they'll break off the ground, but again, this can cause a loose connection. Other issues with, uh, daisy chaining is just, you have so many cords it could be going under carpet or around furniture. They could be bent. They could be damaged. And if you're, you'd be pulled upon, if you have a damaged cord, again, the insulation, the plastic insulation can be damaged. Uh, that can cause a problem and ultimately cause a fire. I'm not gonna get into the engineering, the technical electroengineering sequence of events, but for our purposes, if you have a fire involving an extension cord or a power tap, uh, we want to ask your electrical engineer, was daisy chaining an issue? Were there multiple cords plugged into one another? Were the cords routed around metal edges or underneath furniture where they could be damaged? Or was an old damaged or maybe undersized cord used to power an appliance? Again, we're gonna bring it back to those same three questions. What happened? Exactly what happened? Why did this fire occur? Who's responsible? In our practice, the, the daisy chaining cases that we've had have involved uh, where our client ensures the building owner and a commercial or residential tenant has used multiple extension cords to power an appliance, routed them around metal edges, uh, we've also had cases involving uh, where our client has insured a homeowner on one side of a twin home or a row home in the city and a fire in that home caused by that homeowner caused damage to our insured. So keep those three basic questions in mind. What happened? Who's at fault? And is there insurance coverage? Um, be safe in your use of appliances. Try not to use too many extension cords. Make sure they're the right size. Make sure your connections are all physically tight. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please send them in. We'll get them answered. Everybody stay safe and try to have a fantastic weekend. Thanks.